All right. Hey there, creative crew. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa with the Weenie Umbrella brand. And here on this channel, I show you everything the Weenie Umbrella brand is a part of and also the tips and tricks I use to help me on my business slash entrepreneur journey. And before we get started, just hit that like button or subscribe just so you can stay tuned for upcoming episodes and also to be aware of what we are a part of and doing in the future dates. This episode is about the error message I was getting when I was trying to upload my EPUB electronic publishing book to Ingram Spark. So I made a book on Canva and I was trying, I saved it as an EPUB, everything like that, and could not for months figure out why it would not be accepted with the, the type of graphics and everything that I had on there as an EPUB publishing. So I figured it out I literally figured it out and it was simple after I figured it out so with that tips and tricks I want to make sure that you guys don't have to go through months and months and months of trying to figure it out when I can just give you what I learned so these are my notes here they got other stuff on the back but don't worry about that so the error message here that you guys received I re I received this numerous of times. I tried to remake it because I could not, um, I forgot to take a screenshot of it. I'm sorry. And when I went back and said, okay, I probably still messed up. I'll take a screenshot of it. Uh, it did. I was approved. So I just had to remake it. But the error message when uploading um, to a publishing platform like Ingram Spark, KDP, Amazon, um, anywhere, stuff like that. Um, this is what I did to fix it. I, let's, I'm gonna go through the steps and then I'm gonna show you a brief thing. So I made a book with, I made a book with Canva, canva.com. Love Canva, you'll hear me talk about Canva 24 seven cause Canva is, is the, the glue that helps so much. Um, I downloaded the book as a PDF format. So a print, um, download format so I download it as a PDF and then with the pictures and everything like that you're gonna need a high resolution to even be approved with pictures and on a publishing platform if you need help to figure to figure out what a high resolution is you can check out one of my um, other YouTube videos that I made going step by step showing you how to make your Canva pics uh, Photoshop pics, all that other stuff pics, and from low resolution to high resolution, I have a video about that. So you can find that video, go to that, and it'll show you step by step. But you will have your saved your document, your books as a PDF. You downloaded that with all the pictures and everything that's in high resolution, and then you will go to a conversion tool. Your conversion tool will change your PDF to another format. So I use conversion tools a lot to help me on my publishing journey as a publisher. But with you guys, you will figure out which public, which conversion tool you would like. So you will go to a conversion tool, which I will show a video going step by step with that. And the conversion tool will be from a PDF to guess what? a word document you're gonna need a microsoft word document some type of word document so 
with the word document you're gonna it the error message says language it needs to read the language and how would it read the language if it's just straight pictures you know th different things put together it can't fully function like that per se as, as I'm putting to terms so to read the language we're gonna switch it to a word document so you're gonna use the conversion tool from the PDF to the word document and then in the word document is the most tedious part you're gonna take it and save it and then upload it back in the word document and then on the word document you're gonna have to go through line by line chapter by chapter you're gonna have to do all that to just align the um, book with what it needs to do. Like, let's say chapter two was, uh, it, chapter two, last sentence in chapter two ended in, and then they left. But when you go into Word document, it says your chapter two in it, but they came back and gave everyone $5. I don't know where the $5 came from, we're just rolling off the top of our heads. So you're going to have to start move, this is the line, the page break. You're going to have to move a line down here or a line up here, move a picture over. That is the most tedious part. That's it. That, that's it. You're not changing the format of the book. You're not doing anything like that. You're just moving lines up and down. You're pushing pictures if it's certain pictures, you know, closer because you're changing the format of the book, right? So, so once you go through that most tedious part and it does take time you're gonna save that document and go back to a conversion tool and change it from Word to EPUB that's it that's it you change it from Word to EPUB and once you get the EPUB document you can upload it to your publishing platform and it will get accepted if it's that Pacific era message that you're receiving that's preventing you from being accepted to be published. So I'm gonna try to go step by step in the video in, in after this one, well in the same video, but I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. But some people need to you know, hear it and then some people need to see it. And I'm gonna show you both, okay? <laughs> so, um, if this is where I leave you here, don't forget to like, comment, and su subscribe, and let me know if this helped. Um, if not, if you want to see me do what I'm trying to show you, then stay tuned, okay? All right, now we're gonna start at the source of the ballerina necklace. This is the original book, so I can move it however I want to. We're gonna share, and when we share it, we're gonna download. When we download it we're going to download it as a pdf print this is what can give you a great quality print the highest quality that canva can give that you can print um so we're going to save it as a pdf print we're going to keep the rg the color space rgb if it shows this that's good you can change it between this and this if it don't then th that's okay just make sure you save it as a pdf print so after we download this, we're gonna go to Google since we made our new PDF file and we're gonna type in PDF to Word Converter. And from the PDF to Word Converter, we're gonna go down and you really can choose any one of these that you feel comfortable in using to convert your PDF. So I'm going to go to Adobe because Adobe is more well known. Adobe is, um, you know, Adobe you need it for a lot of different things. So let's say I'm going to select a file, which we just saved a PDF file. That's the file we're going to select. And remind you, my book has 62 pages. It says 61. Um, let's select this one because I have a lot of different versions of it. We're gonna upload this file, and it's really not taking that long. So really you're going back and forth from one format to making it into another format to fit a certain type of program. That's all it is. So we're gonna convert that. 
we're gonna download our newly converted file. See, and it's 60 something pages. So that was kind of quick. We're gonna download that file. Now, we're gonna go to take that file since we just downloaded our PDF file and we turn it into a Word document. Now we're gonna go to our Microsoft Word. Any format that reads Word documents that you can um, manipulate it, move it in any type of way, or change it, you know, alter it or something like that. Go to a blank document and then let that load because it does take forever. I have so much down um, stuff on my computer. So excuse the time. Now I'm going to file. Open that. And we're going to, I put something to use. Now while that's loading, you're going to go through this line by line and make sure everything is correct. Now when I was talking about that you probably have to change a line and everything like that, this one is doing good. So I think the one that I used, the conversion tool, must not was aligned with this because it was messed up. But these are really, really good. And I'm just gonna show you an example. You can take this, chapter one, and let's just move it down. Now, if your stuff was like this, oh, my chapter one is messed up, it's messing all my other words up, all I have to do is just put it where it needs to go. You see what I'm saying? It has everything it needs to go. That's all it is, going line by line, word, you're not, not saying word by word for word, but line by line, just making sure everything is uniform, everything goes where it needs to go. So when you're done with going through all of this, you're gonna save it. So we're gonna go to our file and we're gonna save. And you can save as, you know, wherever the new, the EPUB or something like that uses as an EPUB, just so you will make sure you're on the right track. track. Um, but we're gonna save that. And from there, let's get out of this screen. We're gonna go back to Google, which I did get out of. So hold on, give me a second. See, I see all my. We're gonna go back to Google, and we're gonna go from Word doc to EPUB converter. Now. All of these does the same thing we just did. Well, it doesn't do the same thing, it's a different format, but it's still a converter from one format, changing your doc document from one format to the next. So you can choose any one of these. Make sure you choose something that you're comfortable with. Um, I'm gonna choose something I already looked and found something. So. I, I can't recommend this because I haven't fully, fully dived into this, but I just chose one. And it's the Zamzar online file conversion. I'm gonna choose my file, which we just made a Word document. And here's our Word documents, you know what I'm saying, so. And then it's converted so fast. So fast. So fast. And all I gotta do is click Convert now, convert now. So you literally change your book that you made, let's say through Canva, through anywhere else, you literally changed it from a PDF to a Word document, to an EPUB, electronic publishing, so that now your book can be published on Kindle, Google, um, you know all the other publishing online publishing platforms now if you honestly go from making your book on microsoft word and then convert it to epub it will work it will work but you know this is the very this is the way that i did it this is what helped me um so we, all you gotta do is click convert now and after you click convert now you upload it to whatever platform that you were using that was giving you the error message the language 
message, the value of attribute is invalid, must have been, you know, RFC, and then it will work for you. Because this is what the steps I did, this is what worked for me to get approved because that Pacific era was preventing me from having my EPUB, my book, electronic publishing, electronic published, you know. So thank you for stopping by with these tips and tricks with the Weenie Umbrella brand. Um, stop by WeenieUmbrellaPublishing.com to get your next favorite book. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss an episode. Let's go get creative.